Hi everybody, I'm Josh Constein here with TechCrunch and we're about to show you a hands-on of the new Facebook feature, Graph Search. It basically allows you to ask Facebook anything about the data that's privately shared with you or public data on Facebook. It's not like Google because it's not supposed to give you a set of winks. Instead, it's supposed to give you real answers. So let's walk through how you can activate Graph Search and then what it can do. So first, you're going to want to go to facebook.com slash graph search and you'll see a little bit of information about what the product does. And if you go to the bottom, you'll see a button to say try graph search. That'll let you, uh, it, or it'll show you an option to get yourself added to the waiting list. So click that button to add yourself to the waiting list or start using graph search. Once you're in uh, uh, on the rollout, which will begin today, but slowly roll out to the rest of the world over the next weeks, few weeks and months, you'll see a notice at the top of your news feed that explains that you're about to uh, turn on graph search and check it out. Now at the top of the Facebook navigation bar, you're going to see a, a box that gives you a tour of what graph search can do. You can search for anything that you're interested in, and you'll see results from people who work at places you search for, people who are interested in them. So that's the Facebook interest search. Then there's search about friends. And here we have a live search. So I showed, I looked for my friends who went to Stanford University, my alma mater. The results are personalized, meaning that even if I had the same exact group of friends as somebody else, the results would be different because Facebook ranks them according to your affinity, your, your the deepness of your relationship with someone. So there's a few things that you can do with graph search. The four main things are you can search uh, for uh, photographs, you can search for people, you can search for interests, and you can search for places. So let's get let's start playing it out. So first, let's try uh, let's try searching for people. So let's go with people who live in San Francisco. And here I'll see my friends that live in San Francisco. Now I can refine that search by saying people who live in San Francisco who were born on the born in New York. And I'll see my friends first, and there'll be more results as I go down. I can refine the search with a large set of filters for things like gender, relationship, uh, their current city, hometown. And there's a lot of cool things that you can do with this. So for instance, you could add that I'm looking for single friends that are, uh, that are men or that are uh, women. So this would be like a dating search. So I could look for people that I want to recommend to a friend uh, for, uh, that they might want to date. So now let's try out the, uh, the photo search. So I'm going to search for photos taken in Dolores Park, a, a popular park in San Francisco. Here I'll see photos taken by my, fr uh, by my friends up top, and they're sorted by the ones with the most likes. So you see this one had 26 likes, and that's why it's at the top compared to these smaller photos down here. I could also search for photos taken in San Francisco before 1990 if I wanted to see some old shots probably get some cool things that look like they were taken in Instagram, but no, these are real old photos. Then there's interest search. So I can look for people interested in Star Wars. So here I'll see all the, the people that like Star Wars that are my friends. And if you look for extend this search in the bottom corner, you'll be able to get recommendations of other things, like people who liked Star Wars also like MTV, The Beatles, or Barack Obama. And I could refine that search by saying friends who like Star Wars and Harry Potter to get a, a list of only the ones that like both. Finally, Facebook has a places search, so I can search for dentists in San Francisco that my friends like.
And here I've got two or three locations of dentists in San Francisco that my friends like. This is a much better way, instead of just searching on Google and looking, getting a bunch of links about dentists in San Francisco, I can find ones that my friends actually trust. Now it's important to understand that with uh, that with uh, Facebook's uh, graph search, you also have added stuff from, uh, you, you, you have to be able to control the privacy of what's going on. Because people are gonna worry, hey, if I can see this in search, does that mean everyone can? No, that's not how it works. Facebook graph search only shows you uh, content that's visible to you. That means public stuff or private stuff that your friends have shared with you. But to make sure that your private stuff isn't getting shared with too many people, you can go to the activity log on your Facebook profile and you can see things like, uh, what photos you've shared, and then you could uh, you could see all of the the photos that you've shared publicly. This way, if you find photos that you don't want everyone to be able to see, you could go in and hide them. So these are just a few of the things that Facebook uh, Facebook's graph search can do for you. Uh, we think it's going to have a big effect on businesses like Yelp and Foursquare because it has such a powerful places search. It could take queries away from Google when people might have searched for a, a random business or a piece of information. They might do this on Facebook instead. Uh, and there's incredible advertising opportunities that can make uh, graph search into a gold mine for Facebook because g businesses would obviously love to pay to have their results shown at the top of results instead of the bottom. So thanks a lot for checking it out and make sure to go activate uh, Graph Search for yourself right now.